<sighs> What's up guys from my hotel room here in Kabul, Afghanistan. Yes, that is right, you heard me correctly. I am in Kabul, the city that you've heard all about for all the wrong reasons. Bombings, kidnappings, terrorist attacks, blah blah blah. I originally wasn't planning to come down to Kabul, I was planning to stay in Mazar in the northern areas, but as soon as I found out about Zablon, the only Jew living here in Afghanistan, I flew down here to make a video on him and I stayed here an extra day. So basically in this video I'm just going to recap my last 24 hours in Kabul. It's been incredible, very eye-opening, much different than what I expected. Welcome bro in Afghanistan and um, be happy here in Afghanistan because we are hospitable people. Just you enjoy your soul, enjoy your life. In all honesty, how could I not visit the capital and largest city in Afghanistan? As you probably already know, I am a city boy who is always down for some urban exploration. And let's just say we have these perceptions about places that are always stuck in our mind. Like for Kabul, I always thought that it was just desert and terrorists. And while the police checkpoints and heavy military all around the streets really do intimidate me, the media never focuses on the positive side. Of course, there's a thriving life happening here in Kabul. There's 5 million people, people are going to work, people are going to school, just the same as in any other urban city in the world. But here in Kabul, it really just feels different. The clothing, the culture, the food, and especially the lack of anything modern. And I also want to say that it's really hard to film here in public because there's so much security and they don't want journalists, they don't want people documenting. But I'm going to do my best to show you guys Kabul from my lens. This morning we woke up, drove all around the city, and what I saw were beautiful mountains. These really cool colorful buildings that are like nestled on the cliff on the mountains. Street food vendors are everywhere, fresh juices are flowing, there's markets are bustling, there's street beggars. It's a really, really busy city and there's people everywhere. We were stuck in lots and lots of traffic. It kind of reminded me of Bangkok, although here it's kind of gridlock. You don't move at all. The guy's just leaving. <laughs> You're gonna walk. But anyways, our first stop of the day was this beautiful garden, which kind of reminded me of the ones in Iran. Yeah, right now we're in a Babur garden built in 15th century by Zahiruddin Muhammad Babur. It's a really beautiful layout. You have it's perfectly symmetrical. You have these beautiful trees everywhere and people just hanging out, relaxing in the park. We visited some old tomb and we went to some mosques and it was really a beautiful, peaceful place in the city. After the garden, we headed to the famous bird market. So as we walked through here, there's literally like a thousand cages of birds. <coughs> oh, I'm allergic. <coughs> but it's more than that. There's all these little alleyways and tiny windy streets. The people are so friendly and it's really surreal to think that, wow, why are there so many birds being sold here on the streets? I didn't know that they were that popular to have as a pet. After that, we headed to the top of a mountain to get a beautiful view all of Kabul. Right there behind me is the tomb of the last king of Afghanistan. I did a little horse ride up there at the top, did some selfies, met some cute kids. Then we headed for some lunch. The food in Afghanistan is so underrated. We got this stuff called bolani. It's kind of like a street food. They almost look like pancakes or flatbread and they put meat inside or potatoes inside or vegetables inside and they're fried and they are just so deliciously tasty. I ate like four of them and I couldn't walk when I left the restaurant. Then we headed over to Chicken Street, which no, they don't sell chickens there. It's basically just a souvenir area with a bunch of vendors selling all kinds of gifts, handmade goods, Afghani made products. And I bought a bunch of souvenirs to give to my family and my girlfriend because of course they always love that. On the way out, I stopped to get some pomegranate juice because the juices here are so fresh. Afghanistan is blessed with an amazing climate. You have mountains, you have desert, you have everything. So you have a lot of fruits and vegetables that grow here. And the orange juice and the pomegranate juice I've been drinking like three times a day. They're that good. Finally, when the sun started to set, we went in to get some shisha because as you guys probably know, in the Arab world, in any Muslim majority culture, they love to smoke shisha. There's just water tobacco, water pipe. And finally for dinner, we headed to this amazing chicken kebab place. Mostly the kebabs here are made of goat or lamb or sheep, but the one here was chicken and they grilled it to perfection. They literally grilled the entire chicken. It's like roasting on a stick. And then they put these amazing spices on it, these curry spices on it. And then they give you this awesome flatbread. The flatbread here is incredible. It comes out piping hot. You take a piece of the flatbread, you put it over the chicken, put it in your mouth and you will be in for a treat. So that pretty much wraps up my day here in Kabul and all I can say is that I'm really happy that I decided to make the journey down here because it's a place that's basically off limits for foreigners, for tourists, but I'm here and I'm seeing the life and I'm telling you guys all about it. And I just hope you guys enjoyed hearing about my experiences here because it's probably the only video like this that you're ever gonna see about Afghanistan's capital.
You tell him I'm American? I wish. Yeah. What did he say? He said, uh, oh, you are you're very welcome to Afghanistan. You're just our brother, and that's it. Brother, thank you very much. Hello, <laughs> Fisco. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.